five stocks that are dead and by five stocks that are dead i mean 10 stocks that are in trouble not dead welcome back to the channel guys we'll get right into it yesterday we did some ta on apple aapl we talked about how this stock is showing signs of, of wear and tear signs of danger it's in trouble right of course these stocks aren't dead they're just stocks that are looking bearish in the short to medium term double top here on apple down below the 200 or sorry the one year moving average unfilled gap to the downside unfilled gaps are you know signs of support and resistance and you can see it's been getting rejected even after a strong candle and shade flip last week of course green shade flips are more pertinent to us when we're tagged green but we tag red on the lower time frame shifting our bias from bullish to bearish but this week we couldn't make higher highs inside bar would be a bad sign i would expect continuation to the downside for apple keep by keep an eye on this pivot point 167 a close below there you know and i think apple will probably have you know you know will make lower lows in may than it had in april and continue in this downwards channel maybe three waves one two one last wave to the downside right and then maybe an overall three wave picture who knows we'll cover that bridge when we get there another thing to focus on is the volume lots of red volume on the breakdowns a couple of unfilled gaps to the downside acting as resistance but what other stocks are showing signs of wear and tear signs of trouble well in large cap world we will stick with tesla of course overall i made a big bull case for tesla and today we're going to talk about a couple of stocks that i've made bull cases for before most notably tesla i'm still super bullish this is one of the a lot of value investors they talk about stocks that they buy they want them to go down that's a load of bullshit nobody wants their stocks to go down now i don't own tesla but as someone who doesn't own tesla and it's one and it's probably the stock i'm most bullish on the long term i do want tesla to go down right the cheaper the better as i wait to make my entry but as i keep telling you guys in my videos avoid ev stocks and we're going to talk about another ev stock here today I believe, unless my memory is bad, I made the list a few hours ago. EV stocks are bearish, right? So Tesla's further along, right? It's been the weakest of the MAG 7, so it's further along in its down channel than Apple, breaking to the downside, breaking an important pivot point here this week, right? This pivot point right here, 165, big breakdown, red volume bars coming in, never rush into this, guys. I see a lot of people trying to catch falling knives, trying to catch reversals when the chart patterns aren't there yet. The candles haven't closed yet and the trend is down there is no point in doing that you only want to buy a dip when it's not a downtrend reversal when you make a higher high tag green with volume green dots and fresh green tags on the lower time frame jupiter pendulum then that's a dip you want to buy right so you guys uh jupiter pendulum tutorial you guys can go check that out new tutorial coming soon but tesla's in trouble here not making the best of headlines either as they lay off more workers as they scrap plans for their kind of twenty thousand dollar vehicle more competitive pricing etc so we can make a tesla update video later for now there's really no need we're not ready yet it's bearish don't rush into it put on your watch list set and forget now there are years when i forgot what the saying was there are decades when nothing happens and there are years when decades happen i think that's the same kind of something i relate to someone like arc invest investing in all this futuristic technology from evs to space to blockchain to genome sequencing and kind of medical robotics um but lately a lot of nothing has happened this is the kind of portfolio or etf here um from kathy wood that it will have a year where decades happen it will have a year like this right where five six x's in one year yes especially when a lot of these technologies start to converge at the same time in the right environment in terms of the cycle in the right environment in terms of interest rates but right now is not that time and this thing's uh, very dangerous a lot of people were looking at this potential head and shoulders right nice up move here pulled back we tried to hold but this thing has been failing it can't get going um it's been in the symmetrical triangle for a few weeks and now it's breaking down right this is huge this is a big breakdown week right now breaking down below the symmetrical triangle which is bearish and down below the moving average right 
you can see the pendulum is actually getting stronger the red pendulum you can see on the way up we made higher highs we weren't able to tag green on the jupiter pendulum right we had the fresh lower time frame green tag here that dip was a buying opportunity then we made another higher high we couldn't get another fresh lower time frame tag and we still couldn't tag weekly green right we've been tagged red since back when the bear market started okay so the bias is red we can't get above the moving averages this is going to be a failed head and shoulders and now that we're breaking through this pivot point this thing is at a very dangerous level don't rush in to buy this right there's kind of an uh, a bit of an elevator shaft here and uh, these kind of stocks can get hurt as jerome powell spoke last night and he started to say things um that were a bit hawkish he started to say things like you know you know, you know, maybe we don't have to raise rates, but hey, hey, looks like we we could have to leave these things up for for a little while longer to let let them do their magic, let them work a bit more because some of this data, you know, isn't as we expected. Okay, um, anything else on this list? China, on this list, um, and I have these red, you know, to mark the ones for this video. There's ten of them. Okay, China FXI here. China's just been it just. It, you know, it, 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 there's no investor confidence in China, right? There's no, we've been talking about this, right? And now, um, you know, we've talked about this. This is scary. We couldn't get above the moving averages, right? We go from kind of, you know, rejecting the year moving average to rejecting the six month, which is that yellow. You can see that, you know, here we're reject, here we're bullish. Then we reject the year moving average. We come down, um, we get the, the, the bearish crossover, right? The death cross. Now we can't even get past the yellow moving average, right? The six month moving average in this downtrend right we're rejecting that okay we get really extended here and then we rally kind of a relief rally here as the whole market was rallying at this point it was very bullish in the market we get above the moving averages <clears throat> right we get some green momentum light green momentum dots showing up but we couldn't hold them we reject them again and back to rejecting a one-year moving average and now back to rejecting the six month and we've been here for two months rejecting the six month if we close back below the white the three month moving average right um pivot low this is going to be a failure it's going to be a lower low retest and rejection and i would expect to see close to 20 dollars again here the, the kind of warning signs here were that on this line and you know, we were actually tagged green on the weekly so this last breakdown we made lower lows red dots and fresh red tag right so you know this means we expect lower lows and we want to short the pullback pull back to the moving averages and red shade over bot conditions red shade flip uh evening star so yes we did get above them but it was a bit of a fake out right we couldn't make a higher high above the most recent high and more importantly we know you know our fresh tags are our most important things right um any time frame but you know the big time frame more important for the overall trend but for example right here we have a you know the lower time frame was tagged red when it was green back here fresh red tag in this breakdown boom reject the moving averages engulfing candle to reject them okay shorting opportunity right then we you know we were red already and that's fine it's fine but we got a fresh red tag you see this bigger red dot fresh red tag in this breakdown boom shorting opportunity as we retest the moving averages okay as we reject them as we have red shade over bot conditions and again a red shade flip shorting opportunity but this time a fresh red tag on the top right the weekly the main time frame and so that ended up being you know extended so it did rally but a shorting opportunity you had to pay attention to and the other red red flag was on this whole rally if you're trying to be the bullish okay some green notes are showing up okay momentum okay bull flag breakout that's nice but damn, this whole rally and we couldn't tag not even lower time frame green. So yeah, you had to short that. Anyways, things looking bearish. Be very careful if we break below this pivot point here. Um, this China is looking bad. And of course, that extends to China stocks and names like Baidu, like Alibaba, which have just not been able to get any momentum. They're really just right now just dead stocks. And they're just dead. And again, this takes me back. You know, Tesla, we made a bull case for it. But in that video, I said, hey, there's no setup yet. I'm just bullish overall. I did make bull case for Baidu and a channel. So we have to admit our mistakes too. I saw a good setup. Actually, I took the setup and it was a great trade. But I did take profits and I got stopped out. I think it was back here. This triple bottom. Yes, this was it in the Baidu video. Um, this triple bottom with divergence because red dots, no dots on the last one came up, broke the neckline, green dots showed up and lower time frame green tag. That means the dip I want to buy. Pull back, bought that dip, traded, trailed my stop, and got stopped at some point on the way back down. 
okay as again you know red shade came on we had divergent pendulum we rejected the moving averages closing back below them and these red dots i was expecting lower lows so it didn't work out in the end it ended up you know making even lower lows and just the trend continues but you know, I did make a bull because I do like it fundamentally just like Tesla, but right now there's just no confidence in the Chinese market and these things are dead stocks. You have to just wait. There's no, these things, you cannot rush these things right now, right? Despite how bullish the fundamentals look, and I talk about this all the time, um, make sure to check out my most recent short in the YouTube shorts. You know, we can build a narrative and that's all fine and dandy, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is price. We're traders, investors, whatever, but price is the most important thing, right? Even a great thing bought at a terrible price is a terrible investment, right? Um, okay, so what else do we have here? Let's go to this focus list. We have Solar Edge, another industry that's just bleeding. Is solar, right? We talked about this in the on phase video. Bullish on on phase, just like Tesla, but in this environment, you have to be careful. High interest rates, people don't make big, big ticket purchases like solar panels installing them on their house. This thing is that danger of breaking low. It's a pivot point. It can continue to bleed. Do not make the mistake of thinking just because something is so low or it's gone down so much that it can't go lower. Cheap always gets cheaper. Look at this red volume. Big, super strong impulsive move with heavy red dots. Fresh red tags on both time frames and heavy volume. Well, this is just a textbook, you know, opposite of a high tight flag, bear flag, low tight flag into the moving average. This thing could shoot lower for sure. You know, this thing, I mean, look how this is crazy. This is crazy, right? This thing could keep going. Do not get trapped in this thing. Do not rush into something like this. Okay, that is a kind of picture perfect short setup. If you close that pivot, you're in danger. Okay, um, another large cap. So in the Tesla and Apple side of things, this one I talked about a few weeks ago and I said it was bearish. We broke through this trend line, I believe. And I said, boom, this is a big breakdown below the yearly moving average with a strong red candle and red volume. And the pink dot showed up. So that's bearish momentum. Any pullback should be shorter. We did pull back evening star pattern. So that was shorted. Right now we're unable to get above the moving averages which have crossed into bearish formation. In other words, a death cross. You pay attention to the clues that volume is giving you the skyscrapers are the red ones okay rejected last week upper wick false start false breakout you can see we made higher highs on that wick a lot of bulls are trapped big red candle um, engulfing potentially this week um, couldn't make higher highs made lower lows doesn't look good so be careful with cisco in terms of the large caps i don't short stocks here really but it, you know this was one i would consider if you wanted to go short um, this probably means there's an unfilled gap on the daily. Yeah, so part of the reason I made the, I told you guys a few months ago or weeks ago that this was bearish and be careful. Uh, this was part of it, right? Big gap down, um, gap down, fresh red tag on the lower time frame, volume, and that unfilled gap is going to act as resistance, and it did just that. Acted as resistance, then everything else happened, right? Broke that longer term trend line on the weekly, more gap downs, right? This one did get filled, so that's. A sign of bullishness but still uh, not bullishness but not, not as much weakness but um it's still bearish overall next is unity unity is one um another one that i've made a bull case for this stock they don't all work out right so again you make the cases and you don't get involved until price supports right just like we made the robin hood bull case similar setup the robin hood broke out pulled back gave us an excellent trade What's the difference? These really beat up sideways ranges, right? These range breakouts are great trades, but they need to they need to do the right things. Robinhood came up with fresh momentum tags, fresh green tags, pulled back to moving averages and held, gave us entries on a daily time frame, gave us entries and broke out of the chain. It's bullish, right? This is unity. Okay, we look at a stock because it's cheap. Hey, what's the bull case here? Valuation seems cheap. What is management saying? We listen to the earnings calls. Can they deliver on this? Um, and can price turn around and give us an entry opportunity? No, price has not turned around and given us an entry opportunity. We reject the top of the channel once again. We're below the moving averages. And just like ARC, FXI, just like CIS, just like these ones we keep talking about, very dangerous pivot low, bear flag, low tight flag is something I'm going to coin here. <laughs> Rejected the yearly moving average twice. Um, these red skyscrapers are a big cause of concern. The only thing you have going for you here is you haven't tagged red. So it's not, it's like, you're not getting fresh green tuck. There's no momentum either way. It's just a sideways, kind of a dead stock. 
but you could break down here you could get that red tag on a breakdown so be careful with unity we already talked about china now a couple of um uh, healthcare stocks so cbs this is one that was setting up nicely has a nice dividend but again dividend plays always slower growers <laughs> slower growers and um that's what she said and so these dividend stocks they're slower growers and they have a place in the portfolio especially a larger portfolio or uh, when you're more concerned with not losing money which is ironic when you're more than taking heavy risks and you just want some dividend income but you know these stocks they can always you know they're not they're not explosive stocks it is a slow grower it isn't a downtrend and yes they have a dividend but look what happened it was on its way forming its head and shoulders breaking out pulling back holding here this was actually a news-based breakdown i'm not sure on the details so comment down below if you know the details but something the biden administration did um and it really just tanked cvs and a few other healthcare stocks something to do with insurance and the way it's going to happen in america I'm not sure but you can see i mean i don't have to explain this one look at the red skyscrapers big double top just huge red candles when you see candles like this when you see price action not trading tight and orderly but instead of getting wide and choppy and volatile especially to the red side be careful right you haven't tagged red yet but it's not a good sign you don't want to enter this until you can really digest all of this right so cvs looking bad here another one is pfizer the glory days of the vaccine are not the glory days anymore huh so fundamentals down numbers down earnings all that and pfizer big downtrend consolidating for two months and another one when you see any of these stocks testing these lows do not get fooled into making these buying decisions or trying to buy the bottom or buy a catch knife or rush into it before the candle closes thinking this is the bottom and you're going to come back up into a hammer it's not going to happen don't get fooled you close below here this thing could continue lower because the thing is you're not here it's been going sideways for a few months so it actually hasn't been going down so yes you can go way more down because you haven't been going you're actually sideways if you've been going you know after like this move it's like okay i mean you still don't try to buy the bottom but at least you're like hey maybe a relief rally we're so extended from the moving averages right green shade flip like that led to a five-week trade whatever but we've been going sideways the moving average is right here we're hugging it we touched it last week we're breaking down here that's not a good sign right stay away from that intel i warned you guys on this one in the intel video as well another one that i'm bullish on fundamentally or at least they have a nice narrative going for them it turns out it's not working they came out with news about how their foundry business is losing billions and operating profits they are and they tanked off that so big red volume avoid anything where you see this and boom boom the biggest candles are red ones it's trading below the moving averages you be careful here's an example of a sideways range once you let it close that's better than trying to you know get it in the, in the at the bottom because what can happen is most of the time you're going to continue down but even more importantly like we talked about robin hood not the close break out of the range get green tags momentum and then by the pullback to the moving average once you're bullish confirmation then you could have a decent trade in this case you never even tiled green and it couldn't get much right couldn't get much kind of sideways shitty action most of the time this was the one nice move right here okay and so intel be very careful with there's much stronger plays in the semiconductor space okay stay with the leaders adobe i've sworn on this one a couple of times ever since i've been months warning about adobe um red volume starting to show itself now right people are selling this institutions are likely selling this um i have the 618 fib area of interest here still got a ways to go until we test it okay 14 percent more downside if that even holds makes sense right maybe the market will continue this little correction so the losers will lose more maybe something like nvidia will only or some kind of leader nvidia is in volatile tech stock but nova nordisk eli lily will only go down four percent or someone like this will go down 15 percent 20 percent um but anyways it is bearish right now this was the double top no green dots on the double top divergent red volume big breakdown candle was your warning sign pink dot showed up you bear flagged right into the moving averages and you sold off from there right so we did give a bit of a warning video um, about adobe i've mentioned it a couple times this one i do have a narrative for this one i don't like to build narratives i'm gonna keep repeating the same things over and over 
but the narrative for me was OpenAI and Sora and all these image, text to image things. There's gonna be a lot of open source stuff, a lot of free stuff as well in terms of language models and text to image. And Adobe just got a ton of competition. Can they compete in the new, you know, we're going from digital software, they were the king in what they do. We'll see what they can do um, with AI, but can they compete in this really fast growing industry now or will it be displaced? Okay, lastly, Boeing. I made a Boeing video um, telling you guys to sell Boeing. Of course, if you haven't been living under a rock, these planes have been falling apart. The doors fall off, the engines catch on fire, people get injured. Boeing is a mess. Their planes, obviously, they had a whistleblower who came out and said that after working in Boeing quality service or whatever um, division for a few years, he would never fly again after the things that he's seen. Of course, that dude died he got off or off himself he got epstein he got putin he went where you where you don't come back from and it's a shame so prayers for his family but boeing planes are falling apart everywhere they're down 37 38 percent in the year big pivot broken last week right um even this pivot this is what it looks like when i tell you you're consolidating below moving averages don't try to buy this bottom pivot breakdown even if you're relief no that's bearish that's a retest Right, that's an evening star. Another important pivot breakdown because now you've made, you know, year, you know, you broke below all the 2023 price action. So multi-year lows, fresh thoughts, fresh red tags. Boeing has a ways to go here. Likely retesting the bottom um, and getting closer to $100. Going to retest this kind of multi-decade lows, um, closer to 100. My prediction, but predictions are worthless. We'll just follow the price action and this is bearish price action nothing you want to be involved with okay airbus their main competitor is thriving <laughs> because all the competition is ordering airbus instead of boeing because nobody wants boeing planes right now all right um that's it for today guys really hope you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up like comment and subscribe if you want to see more technical analysis more stock content let me know in the comments love you guys stay safe peace